Hi, welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. Um, just got up. Uh, you know, it's funny because I had finally gotten my sleep pattern back into its um, proper rhythm, which is, you know, going to bed a little early and waking up early. And then, of course, you know, it started aggressively targeting me aggressively hitting me with the uh, silent sound, the noise campaign, and all of the other stuff, right? So again, go back to insomnia. So I think I was up all night. I didn't go to bed until uh, after 10 o'clock this morning. And I just woke up around minutes to nine, you know, as I grabbed my phone to call the kids, um, you know, they started with the police sirens, okay? As soon as I put pick up my phone in my hands, uh, you know, whoop, and uh, so anyway, I called um, my son number. He didn't answer. I called the house number. He didn't answer. So I finally called him. She answered, and she was like, "Everybody's asleep," and she just kind of hang up, hang up abruptly. Now, again, you know, I, like I said, this this is a repeated pattern. Um, when she started doing that, like usually, you know, if I call, she like, you know, um, kids and they'll have you, and. You know, she's like, everybody's sleeping, what have you. But she tried to stay on the phone. Because, uh, again, you know, this is what they do. They play fiddle, you know, with her. Uh, they, they try to do that with me. She comes to certain things. And I've warned her about this even before, really years ago, when we first met. But, of course, you know, these women, they don't listen to us men. they have been conditioned to think they know it all. they have been conditioned to believe that they're going to get the kind of men that they want, which is not true. Because the kind of men that they want, they're just going to be used, abused, and you know, after they uh, finish with them, you know, that's it. All right, like I said, I'm getting too old for this shit. You know, uh, that type of behavior I can excuse it because you're younger, particularly if you don't know any better. Um, you know, I can excuse it, but you know, you're well into your forties or fifties. You know, you should, you should at least uh, mature um, psychologically mature in terms of how you view the world you know um, but again too many of our, of our sisters are stuck in a um, youthful uh, early 20 something mindset so even when they're in their 40s they're in their 50s they still act and behave as if and think as if they're in their 20s and this is where a lot of problem comes in but this is what they've been able to do to us as a people right um, not just as TIs, but as a people, uh, to condition them to behave and act in a certain way. And like I said, uh, you know, going forward, you know, when you look at how they're, they're moving, when I said how they're moving, I mean uh, the white racists, the elites, uh, what they're doing in terms of businesses, uh, in terms of building robots and using robots to replace human workers. And then, you know, what they're going to start seeing too is also uh, a lot of uh, sex uh, robots, right? Meaning that, you know, these are uh, um, robots that look like uh, you and me. And, you know, because again, they're trying to uh, decrease the world population. You know, many people, when we talk about this stuff, they're like, oh, you, you know, it's conspiracy theory, what have you. But listen, I study technology, I read, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, research and development, uh, I read what's going on. So it's not like as if, you know, I'm operating within my uh, small circle, which the vast majority of us operates in, right? We don't want to expand our knowledge base outside of that because, again, because of our small bubble and the way the mind has been conditioned, uh, we are all trapped in the cycle of ignorance. And it's done purposefully. Because, see, the elites know, those that rules know that the information, the truth is out there, and they're trying to uh, turn you away from the truth. And for those of us who they've um, did things to, experimented on, uh, who are standing up and speaking the truth, they were doing everything, you know, in their power to discredit us, to set us up, or what have you. And some of them have, right? So, one of my favorite movies, which I was watching the other day, and, you know, they, um, they usually don't like it when I watch this movie. It's called uh, Enemy of the State. 
and then instead you have this um, uh, uh, person who worked within the CIA or the NSA, whichever the, um, thing, and you know uh, this guy who was a wildlife photographer. Uh, he sets up this video recorder, and he on the video recorder he he um, recorded this murder of a U.S. senator, sitting U.S. senator, and the people responsible, uh, you know, chased this guy down and killed them. He puts the information in uh, the character played by Will Smith in his uh, shopping bag. He goes home, you know. Of course, they figured out that he might have um, put it into this person's bag. And you should read. You should go watch this movie and listen to what uh, this guy said. And he says that uh, we're going to turn this person's life upside down. We're going to discredit him. They even set him up for murder of his ex-girlfriend. All this other stuff, right? And you know, we look at these things as if they, these things are just in the movie, right? But these things happen all the time. It happens all the time. And it's not just within the CIA or the NSA. It's within your local police department, your state and local police department. It's with the FBI, right? So how many, you know, we've seen, um, you know, when I listen to uh, um, this, I was watching this video with this guy, um, I believe, uh, you know, I'm not sure what state it was in, right? But he said, this guy spent 20 something years in jail, 30 something, I think it was 30 years in jail. And he from really didn't commit. He said, you know what the police said to him? He said, I don't care whether you did it or not. I don't care if you're innocent. You're going down for this murder. Okay? And it took them 30 years for this man to be free. And you know what's sad about, particularly about black people? Is that we're always thanking God. This God. This God that, that allow this crooked cop to set up a, a frame of man, send him to jail for 30 years. But we're always thanking God. You know, after the fact. That's 30 years of your life that they, they stole. And then they refuse to pay this man. Okay? And there was another case with another brother who spent, uh, was, in, was uh, wrongfully incarcerated. He comes out, sued the state, right? I think I forgot how much minutes he got. Then they killed him. They killed him. So guess what? The state no longer have to pay off that <laughs> that money, right? Uh, you know, you gotta understand how this system works, man. You gotta understand what it is that they do, particularly to us as black people, right? We are be we are used as fuel for this for this economy, um, because without us, right, they cannot be as wealthy as they are. Okay, their wealth depends on cheap labor. And what do you see? The vast majority of black men and women work in underpaid jobs. On top of that, okay, you police siren. <laughs> That's okay. The video's going up on YouTube, so you can make all the sirens more if you want. Like I said, come see me. Um, you know, so again, you know, we see this thing happen. This thing happening, right? And this is why, as as a TI, you know, you're constantly under the threat, right? Of, of these things and the, again if you look up curse persuasion program you look at the outcomes uh, you know we know what the outcomes are in the curse persuasion program right also uh, the use of just zoom you know it's like one big super <laughs> you know uh, quantum pro psychological <clears throat> I wouldn't even say psychological experiment but they basically know how to break your mind down you know and that's when you, when you see certain cultural references, you know, um, you understand certain things, right? So again, and they they know how you're conditioned. So in your targeting, um, you know, because again, they're they're trying anyone that see they know that anyone that speak up, anyone that becomes awakened, uh, reach a level of consciousness, has become. Uh, act, but what it you know anointed to be uh, anointed a Christ not to be but anointed a Christ right so you, you don't need someone standing over you to, to say you are a Christ when you come to that realization that in this society there are things that are wrong and you need to speak out this thing about it you become Christ like that's what it is your consciousness you elevate your mind to a higher level right and not just in a higher level in terms of being 
greedy and being conniving and you know all that stuff right particularly you know it comes to certain people who suffer from medical right which the vast majority of them suffer from that i'm talking about white people right i'm not you know not afraid to say it but never will be because it's the truth right so when you uh begin to look at the truth you gain knowledge you're not stuck in ignorance because again, this is what they want. So for those of us, and they understand that within uh, a, a marginalized and oppressed group, they're always going to be those that's going to stand up for injustice, to stand up to make a difference, to stand up to uh, uh, create revolutionaries. They know this, but this is what they don't, particularly here in the United States. It's okay for them to go overseas and fight, to bomb other people's houses, to bomb other people's uh, buildings, to destroy and kill other human lives, right? So when you think about it, this country that we live in has some of the most warmongering people in power who wreak havoc on hundreds of millions of lives across the, the world, okay, and yet are afraid of the same thing happening here in the United States, okay, because this is their safe haven. And so what do you, what do they do? According to the Russian scientists, right? Which he, he says that you know, imagine those in the West having this technology, the power to control human mind, the power to manipulate people, the the power to make them uh, happy in their oppression, to make them content in their um, loss of quality of life, loss of civil liberties and civil rights, human rights. And this is what we see here today, that's happening here today. So when those of us speak up and understand what's going on, you know, it's a lot of things. Like a lot of things they do with me. So it's like, I, I'm doing this video, you know, police, uh, Cyrus, this, this is why when I pick up my phone, they start hitting the, the police. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because when they attack me so much, right, you, you tend to, and again, that's just the human mind. I don't blame myself. Because again, I understand the psychological conditioning. I understand the brainwashing program. And I'm not acting at any different than any other person who has not been psychologically um, manipulated, right? So I'm not acting any different to any pro anybody else who's been hit with direct energy weapons, particularly silent sound. I'm not acting different to anybody else who have been, uh, you know, manipulated to the point where, again, they try to abuse you, you know, through ritual abuse. The constant threat of having people, you know, particularly uh, young people, young girls uh, try to force accuse you right even women try to accuse you of you know because they know how they condition particularly with black women they know they, how they weaponize them against us black men what and a lot of us are beginning to wake up to that okay but what we have to understand as black men is that we cannot have that mindset of you know we're not going to unite with our sisters whether it be in a, when I say sisters, I don't mean, uh, you know, biologically related, you know, um, you know, to love each other, to uh, create nuclear families, okay, and to watch our families grow and to teach them properly, to teach them, you know, the, the things about white supremacy that you didn't know. This is why I teach my kids, this, but this is why they don't want me to talk to my kids. And this is what they've been doing. I try to keep away from my kids. And particularly when they're, you know, you have a very religious um, group of people, okay, who are ignorant as fuck. Yes, they're ignorant as fuck, <laughs> okay. And that even when, you, even when you show them the truth, they don't want to, you know, even hear it, even see it, right? Because their whole life is built on a lie, and they and their minds, right? have been constructed with lies so therefore what makes you you know who you are they always say you are what you eat right well you are what you read you are what you've been indoctrinated with and if you've been indoctrinated with lies then you are a lie and you will be a lie okay and not to say that and you know everybody don't lie everybody lies okay but there's a difference between those lying to you to try to control you, try to manipulate you, to try to destroy your life and the lives of others, the lives of your family, 
as opposed to lying uh, when somebody, you know, maybe uh, eat a piece of chocolate, you know, or a kid, you know, eating candy when they're not supposed to be asking me to say, no, I didn't eat candy, right? So you don't want to make it, make it seem like, you know, all eyes are on the same level, right? But it's not. It's not. And we see particularly black Christians, Negro European Christians, uh, accept that, you know? Oh, well, you know, you still a piece of candy. That means that, you know, he's the same as a person that's, you know, robbed the bank and lied and said that he didn't rob the bank. I mean, how ridiculous is that, right? But that's the type of thing that they constructed, and this is why when they target us, particularly as target individual, uh, and they get people around us to target us, they always try to make it see like it's equal. So when you do something nice, they will try to deter you from doing anything nice because it goes against their narrative. Right? They could be the liar, but you can't. They could be the the manipulator, but you can't. They could be the oppressor, but you can't. You know, and these are all the negative things, right? They could be charitable, but you can't. But you got to understand the narrative that's being set, the narrative that's being ingrained within the society, within your community, within your family, within your friends. It's all against you. So you, they need you to act negative. Like I said, this is why, you know, early in my, in, in my uh, condition and um, on this program, uh, when I was aware of it, all right, so it was happening before, but you become aware of it. Uh, you know, they will try to uh, prevent you from doing nice things, from thinking positively. Now, when I say positively, thinking, understanding the truth and not you know thinking that the truth is all negative because it's not truth is empowering truth is hurtful truth is you know it's hard but would you rather live your life understanding the truth and speaking the truth as opposed to living a lie and speaking lies this is something I refuse to do particularly when it comes to the religious bullshit and they know, like I said, white people need black people to believe in Jesus. They need to have us continuously believe in Jesus, right? And this is the fictitious Jesus, okay? Because all they have to do is go and read the Jewish war, right? Or any history, documented history in of the first century. You will not find Jesus in there, okay? You will not find no... Um, person who is doing miracles you will find people who are political activists civil rights activists generals right because they were warring the, the, the Judeans were at war with the Romans there was no shit that they show you on TV or you read in the Bible I mean they were very <clears throat> brutal in their wars against the Romans same as the Romans were very brutal in their wars against them Okay. And the one person they love to use to say, well, um, this person mentioned Jesus, that was uh, uh, Josephus Flavius. Now, why? He, he, Flavius is a Roman name. Josephus was a Jew. He was not a Jew, I'm sorry, a Judean. There were no Jews at the time. They were, he was a Judean. They were Hebrews, right? So when they talk about the Bible, the Jews, Jews, the Jews. No, they, there was no Jews. They were Judeans. Okay? So when you when Josephus, in one small sentence, mentioned the name Yeshua, they all like, oh, isn't it? But you have to understand, right, jo who Josephus was. He was a Judean general, okay, who lost a battle against the Romans. And what did he do? Okay? What did he do? Right? He became a traitor. He became a traitor. Right? Hence, his last name was given uh, the Flavius name because of the immense gratitude the Romans had for him. Now, why did they have so much gratitude for him? Because, because of his ability to record things to write. And they used Josephus to try to credibly we put in in his uh, historical um, writings Jesus but there's only one line in there 
You look at all other historians at the time, you look at Tatticus, you don't find no Jesus in there, no Yeshua in there. Okay? So again, when you don't understand history, you will be led like the lamb to a slaughter. And they want you to be lambs. This is why they call them, these so-called Christians call themselves lamb. The, the, I am the lamb of God. That's what they said, right? <laughs> you know, the Jesus said, I am the lamb of God. So they're the lamb of God. They, in their mind, particularly as, as Negro Pian, uh, with Negro Pian people who are Christianized, that it is okay, perfectly okay for them to suffer on the system of oppression because Jesus died for their sins and Jesus suffered much worse. So when your mind believes that, right, then you see nothing wrong with your oppression. You see nothing wrong with that. You see your suffering as being in line, or almost in line, with your Jesus Christ. Again, who was, again, a fictional invention. See, this is why the white supremacists have spent, you see, there's a reason why they've been searching into our DNA, looking for gen genetic, so-called genetic marker that, uh, predisposed us for violence, even though they're the most violent people on this planet. It is not that. It is to stamp out our ancestors who are, who live within us. Anyone who uh, ancestor fought in any sort of revolution, who started any sort of revolution. And you can look at it today. You look at Malcolm X's kids. One of his daughters died. His grandson, who was about to become, go into politics, a political, not politics, but political activism, they killed him. You look at the Reverend Martin Luther King. His, his kids, they have been neutered, neutered, okay? And this is what they've done to us. They've neutered our minds. And now, they, because of, again, the low birth rates between uh, uh, white men and white women, you know, they've always been controlling our population to keep it at a certain level. And so now, they use a myriad of, of, of tools weaponized and everything against us to get us to a point where we become separated. And these foolish nigger parents will be like, well, Christ said, you know, you come to divide and this and that, such and such. See, there's a reason why they put that in there. You know, there's a reason why they put that in there. Anybody who tell you that they come to divide, what do, they, what do they describe him as? They say he's a devil, right? He's a divide. He's a this and that. But in Jesus Christ, in his own words, Right, so they will say, "Well, you know, because they, you know, if you, you got to focus for Christ, if you got to follow Him, you got to give up everything." <laughs> There's a lot of reason why a lot of us are dying old and alone, and we refuse to come to the truth and come to the light and come to the understanding. Yes, and the truth is the light. They're living in darkness. Religion. If you look at what happened with religion, right? Why they call it in Europe the Dark Ages? It's because of religion. So if anything, when you talk about living in darkness, it's because of your lack of ignorance, because your your belief in religion. That's why you're living in darkness. Religion don't bring you light. It brings you darkness. Okay? <clears throat> but your imagination in your mind thinks that you're, you're gaining light. When you die, you die. You ain't going to heaven. Because if you really believe in your Bible, you'll understand that not everybody, one of us is going to go to heaven. There's a number on there. A certain amount of people will be allowed into heaven. Right? But like I said, most of you Negropians are Paulinians. You believe in what Paul said, not what Jesus said. Simple as that. Because guess what? You can behave and act whatever you want, and then you can always go and ask for forgiveness from God, and your sins are forgiven. That's a destructive cycle they put into your mind. You gotta understand that. Okay? I know. I used to have that mindset. Okay? And now they're doing everything possible. Because since I don't believe in their religion, so I gotta be the devil. I gotta be a demon. Meanwhile, they're the ones that are demons. They're the ones that are devils. Because if you need to manipulate people, lie to people, poison people, do what you want to do negative to people, because they don't believe in what you believe in, then who's the devil? Alright? So, with that being said, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.